Living with HIV means that I'm part of a community that's resilient. It means I'm part of a community that's strong. It means that I'm a part of a community that is full of love and support. And it means that I can call my POS brothers, sisters and siblings part of my family. Um, and they're my chosen family. Um, they're my logical family. And um, it's really such an honour to be part of that. Well, this idea of chosen family, um, I guess it's more relevant to people who, whose biological family may not be as accepting as they want to be. It's to find people that are supportive to me and, um, and they can allow me to grow into the person that I could be. I'm in thick with the HIV community. It's nice to have a couple of people in your life you can trust and you have a good rapport with and you can be open with and that's good. I had these wonderful experiences with, um, within the HIV positive community with people that I learnt that I will be alright and that, um, that things will be okay. Not just in a health way but in a, in a, in a soulful way. Um, that I can still live a rich life and um, that I can still live a life full of love and passion. Those who have been in my life for the last 20 or more years since I've been diagnosed with HIV are the ones who are still with me. So uh, that's uh, important to have those uh, long-term connections and people who know where you have come from and what you've experienced. My hopes and dreams about living with HIV is that to be non-stigmatizing is just not good enough anymore. Uh, we want to build a kind of allyships with people outside the gay community. Uh, we're talking about our heterosexual friends, our family, people who are on the street. I hope that one day we can normalize the experience of living with HIV so that no one suffers from the old stigma. It's also making sure that the positive people are aware of what services are within their areas too and where to go to for the right information and you know if they're having trouble connecting with someone um, you're making sure that that there are people like me that you know are easily accessible for them to be able to have that yarn with and you know just to talk about certain things relating to HIV. Some of the most incredible advocates that have just that have given so many rights for so many people and have helped so many people are uh, compassionate, uh, HIV positive people, and I'm really proud to be a part of that. HIV is just a part of me. It's, it's a very small part of me. I can't, I can't escape the fact that it has changed some of my experiences. I can't escape the fact that it has changed a whole part of my life. But I think it's changed my life for the better, ironically. Um, it's, been, it's been a good experience. There is a great community of people living with HIV. There's, there's that support out there for people who are newly diagnosed. And it's about reaching out, it really is. It's about reaching out and asking for help if you need it. <laughs>